Thank you very much, Kate. Good luck with that. Now, life changed for our next guest, Kitty Castledine, when at just seven years old, she was rushed to hospital with a virus that left her paralysed. But with the support of her family, Kitty has never let what happened stop from achieving her dreams, and she's now the newest resident of Albert Square. And uh, so far, Penny Branning has made quite the impression. <laughs> Do you mind if we search your bag, madam? Uh, this is a joke, innit? That is not mine. I'm... What? It's all right, darling. You just stay with Penny. Smuggling drugs. I don't know who you are. The little girl I knew, she would never have done that. She didn't do it. What makes you so certain? Because it was me. Honestly, Uncle Jack, I swear, I ain't got no clue how that stuff got in my bag. Did you know that stuff was in there? This is your idea, then. It was mine. Our parents spent half their lives at each other's throats. It ain't going on for another generation. You risked my son's future to save yourself. If I went to prison, what would have happened to that eight-year-old little boy? I'm so, so sorry. So you should yes. be. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I have to say, I, I declare an interest here, cos I have known Kitty since she was, well, a baby, baby actually, yeah. because I'm best friends with her mummy, who was in our audience somewhere, <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> There's Lucy, Alexander, lots of you will know from Homes Under the Hammer and Place in the Sun. Um, so I've known you for a long time. Yeah. So it's been just amazing for me watching you on EastEnders. I literally can't believe it. I sit the whole time going, it's Kitty. No. <laughs> I see it all over your stories. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like my number one fan. Kitty's on, <laughs> Kitty's on. Um, but listen, what an amazing job. Straight out of drama school, Thank you. straight into one of the biggest yeah. soaps in the country. <laughs> where you were like when did you get that call yeah so I just graduated from drama school so it was everything you know it's, it's crazy after leaving such an intense place for three years to now go into a place where it, it's also so intense yeah. you know I've left drama school family and now I've joined the Wolford family so I'm so grateful to sort of be a part of that um, but I, I remember getting the phone call and I was outside my house because as you know we have terrible no signal. phone signal Awful. I don't never get hold of so them. I can't ever have a phone call in my own no. house so I was outside I think it must have been like oh just before kind of September-ish yeah. and I was freezing cold and I was outside like hello to my agent and she basically said you got the job wow. and I, I couldn't believe it obviously and I remember my mum was away working and my dad and my brother were in but I thought I can't no, I can't tell my dad and my brother and not tell my mum. You know, <laughs> she'd be gutted. So I went, right. I went up to dad and I went, right, call mum. Call mum now. <laughs> and he was like, what, what? And I went, just, just call her, just call her. I and bet then, she screamed. Cried. Down the phone. <laughs> 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 but, yeah. So listen, there you are. You know, as we said, straight from drama school, it's amazing. Yeah. Into East End as an institution. I mean, what's that like? You know, your first day on the set with all these people, you know, yeah. you're working with Jacqueline Josser, you're amazing. working with Scott Masley. Yeah, very I close feel so with. lucky to be working with such amazing people. I mean, being so young and, you know, I've not, I haven't had a lot of experience to be with these yeah. literal legends, I'm sorry, but they I'm are. also... I'm in a room with Phil Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's crazy. Do but you find yourself staring like... I, yeah, Mitchell. I'm eating a panini with them all, like, <laughs> next to Sonia. You know, it's, it's, it's mental, but it's, it's great and I'm actually loving it. She's and... quite a character, isn't she? Yeah. Because, obviously, Penny was in the show... How many years ago? Uh, yeah, about ten. Ten years ago. Yeah, even longer. So she left as a, a young girl. Yeah. And she's come back as you, a young yeah. woman. Um, so you can kind of do what you like with her a bit. I, I can. Yeah, she's she's a cheeky girl, as you've just seen. Yeah. I mean, she stitches her cousin up um, by putting drugs in her bag. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, she's she's a fun character to play because she's got this energy about her where she's she's ballsy yeah. and she doesn't show, you know, she, she doesn't let her disability kind of get the better of her. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's Which really important. Which I have to say, sorry, I'm completely taken over this <laughs> interview. Do it, sorry, I love I'm it. I'm so sorry, but I can't help it, cos she's my yeah. mate. Yeah. Um, but that, is, that reminds me so much of you, Kitty, because obviously when you were seven, mm. um, you know, you, you've got a virus that, that has left you paralysed. Yeah. And I remember it so vividly. I remember where I was when, yeah. when Lucy called me. Um, you probably and, remember it more than I do. Well, I guess. So I was, so it was interesting yeah, to know, what do you remember about it? Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I was seven, and so, you know, when, when you're at that age, you don't, really, you don't really remember a lot of sad moments. Like, I, you remember all the happy moments, and you remember... I remember being in hospital, but I remember painting and drawing and seeing the therapy dog and yeah. all of that stuff, rather than 
all the being sad on a life things, being on a life support machine, yeah. you know, all of that. Um, but I think that's what's quite nice to have with a character as Penny is she was paralysed also at seven, eight, mm. and she was hit by a car. Um, so there, there are similar elements mm. to Penny than there is to me. So I can really sort of, you know, yeah. use my yeah. past experience to bring life to Penny. Because I, I know that it hasn't held you back. And, oh, Brenda, sorry. Go yes. on, go, no, go. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> help just on that, just on that, Kitty, I'm sure so many people must be so inspired by mm. watching you and seeing you, how mm. you deal with your day-to-day -to, -day to go through something like this, to be on one of the most yeah. iconic programmes. What can you say to other people, other young people, mm. who don't necessarily have that self-belief in themselves yeah. to want to do something better? I mean, it's just, it's so important to have you know, disability on screen and to yeah. have that visibility to see, oh, someone like me is doing what they love to do and it doesn't matter that they're in a wheelchair, it doesn't matter that they're disabled, I'm, I'm just doing my job. You know, I go... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know, I'm just... I, I go to work and it is now my job and I'm just living the life that I wanted to live regardless of my disability. Um, and it's important, I think, to show Penny struggles and, you know, some things aren't accessible. And in that case, just put a ramp in, fix the lift, mm -hmm. do those things so that then it's accessible to me, you yeah. know? And when your mum and Ruth have a few drinks and it usually has to drop them out. Oh, best <laughs> believe, it's Kitty's counts. <laughs> what? How yeah. very dare what? you? <laughs> Is that true or not, Kitty? No comment. <laughs> no, we, do, we, yeah, actually, we actually do. Lucy's here. We call her Kitty's Cabs, don't we, Lucy? Yeah. <laughs> what would we do without you, Kit? I know. Be fair. So you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Is that you thanking me live on air? And I'm so glad you're in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, um, I know that people will be <clears throat> asking Lucy, you know, what was the virus? It's called transverse myelitis, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that causes the par paralysis. And, and I remember it vividly, at, you know, you yeah. calling me. Yeah. How do you feel now seeing... There were times we've sat and cried together yeah. about this girl, and now look at her. To get an instant attack of your spinal cord and become instantly paralysed, to now looking at Kitty, um, just achieving all her goals, doing everything she wanted to do, and quite rightly, as Kitty says, she's just got the same life as everybody else. Yeah. Um, I am... I can't actually believe I'm having a moment because you're my best mate. There's my daughter. This is quite lovely for me. I'm I'm so proud. <laughs> yeah. I think I think we're all having a moment. We're all having a moment. <laughs> we're all having a moment. I'm the hard one here. Yeah, like, <laughs> um, EastEnders, of course, seven thirty on BBC One. I cannot see what continues to happen to Penny. See you it's tomorrow. Exciting. See you tomorrow night. I'll see be you tomorrow there night. Watching. Kissy Castle dining. <laughs>